everyone, it's Janice. Welcome back. Today I'm going to do a video all about my favorite snacks. Probably one of my most frequently asked questions is like what I do when I have a craving or what I like to snack on. I have already done a what I eat in a day video. Um, and of course, if you're new to my channel, uh, I did lose quite a bit of weight. Um, it's been over a year now, so I do have a weight loss video and a one year update video. So if you're interested in checking those out, I'll link them down below. Um, but anyways, I did just want to talk to you guys about what I like to snack on. Of course, you get like different cravings during the day. So some of these snacks might sound kind of strange, but I kind of like grouped them into categories for like what I do when I need something sweet, what I do if I feel like I need nutrition, what I do if I feel like I've already eaten plenty that day, but I'm still hungry and I want to snack on something. So hopefully you guys will find this helpful. Two things I do want to address um, before I get into the snacks. Basically, these are the two things I do every day to kind of just keep me full, keep me on track, and keep me from snacking too much is obviously drinking a lot of water. And I think it kind of helps to put your water in like a bigger container to make sure that you're going to drink more, you know, rather than just like filling up a small cup of water. So this is my favorite little water bottle and I drink out of it every day, plenty of water. And the other thing I do is definitely in the morning, but whenever I can, I just throw some flaxseed into my food. I like to throw this into my oatmeal in the morning. And flaxseed is just one of those foods that has some protein, has a lot of fiber. Fiber obviously helps keep you full. And it also has omega-3 fatty acids, which not a lot of foods have, and it's super good for you. So this kind of just helps me keep extra full in the morning and keep me from eating too much. Uh, so starting off with two things I like to do um, more basically if I'm trying to avoid snacking too much is just having like a cup of hot tea sometimes really helps me just chill out for a minute and think okay are you really hungry like sit here and drink this hot cup of water basically which that's how I feel like tea is basically like water um, this is the organic roasted dandelion root tea I get this at Target you can get this pretty much anywhere I've seen it at Walmart it is a tea I heard about from Jillian Michaels she says it helps prevent bloating so I drink this tea sometimes it basically just helps keep me a little bit full if I still want to have a snack after this fine I go ahead and do that um, the one other thing that's kind of weird before I get into more like substantial snacks, something about a pickle, sometimes if I'm just craving something, if I just eat a pickle, my appetite will like go away. I don't know if that is true for any of you guys. If it is, let me know. I don't know if it's just like a weird thing for me, but maybe give that a try sometime. Pickles are like really low in calories. Basically, it says zero calories on here, but they do have some sodium. Um, and sometimes this just like kills my appetite. So that's just a tip for you. One of my new favorite foods to snack on is cottage cheese. You, this comes in a variety of like fat forms. You can get like 1%, 2%, 4%. I like the Daisy 2%. Um, this is the Target brand 1%. And my personal favorite way to eat cottage cheese is with a little bit of cinnamon and an apple. I've been eating this with my lunch every day with my yogurt. Um, but cottage cheese, people like it different ways. It can basically go either sweet or savory. If you're not familiar with cottage cheese, a half a cup, um, or at least with this brand, basically a half a cup is one serving in any brand, is 80 calories and it has 11 grams of protein. So you can do a full cup if you want to have two servings and that would be 22 grams of protein. And it's low fat, like I said, um, low carb, it does not have any fiber, so eating it with a food that has fiber like an apple can really help keep you full with the fiber and the protein. Some people like to have this with pepper and tomatoes. Um, you try it all different ways, but the apple way is my favorite. Peaches are also great with it too. Um, obviously, ideally, like if you're actually hungry, a good snack would be like just a protein-rich snack like tuna, but I'm gonna be honest, if I'm, not, if I'm hungry, I'm not really like, oh, I know I'll have some tuna, <laughs> but I do really like like a tuna sandwich, but it's not something I really go for in a snack. And the same, this I would go for in a snack. This is Greek yogurt. I have been talking about this in my videos lately. Um, I was introduced to this yogurt maybe a year ago. So it's Greek yogurt, six ounces of it, or just one, I think it's six ounces. Um, basically there's hundred calories in this container. It has 18 grams of protein. I eat this with my lunch, but if I wasn't eating it already with lunch, this is another great snack um, that I like to have. I always keep pepita seeds and almonds with me. This is just in a little Altoids tin. I keep this in my purse. I keep these at work, at home. Um, this is really like my go-to any time of the day snack, but I know sometimes if you're craving something sweet, then 
you know, you may not be like, oh, I know I'll have some nuts, but those are obviously really nutritious. Walnuts are also great. I just tend to go for the almonds and pepita seeds often. Another option, um, I know different diets, you know, have different feelings about eggs, but I do eat eggs. Um, try not to eat them too often, but they can be a really great snack. I like to just hard boil them and you can come home and either just have the whites or you can eat the entire egg. Again, it's just a protein, a good protein snack for you. It's really convenient. Eggs are really inexpensive. Um, I don't feel like eating healthy needs to be expensive. I've said that before and eggs can be just one of those foods that are really nutritious that I could eat anytime. I like to eat like breakfast for dinner sometimes. So that's another option. In terms of low calorie, you know, we've all heard this before, just having like some celery and salsa. I love that and that does really work for me. And if I know I've already eaten plenty and I'm just craving, just go for some um, celery and salsa or some carrots or a cucumber. A cucumber was my go-to snack for a while and it still is something I really enjoy. Um, celery is really low in calories. I mean, I'm sure you know that, but two sticks of these is 15 calories. And it, again, is one of those foods that has a lot of fiber. So fiber, I haven't really talked about it in my diet or in any of my health and fitness videos because I think it's pretty obvious if you've seen any of my like grocery haul videos or just any video where I'm talking about what I eat. I definitely do eat a lot of fiber. It does keep you full. And I just tend to like foods that have a lot of fiber like fruits and vegetables and they're super good for you. Um, one recipe that I've tried out recently that I love that maybe if you like pumpkin, you'd want to give this a try. It's basically like a pumpkin pudding. So this is a full can, which is three and a half servings. If you just had one serving of this can of pumpkin, it's 50 calories. If you end up having the whole container in uh, whatever you're making, it's going to be, you know, 175 calories then. But I like to do um, this is the kind of almond milk I like. I like the unsweetened originals, 30 calories. So if you do however much pumpkin and however much uh, almond milk you want and some chia seeds. Um, my chia seeds are mixed in with pepita seeds right now. It's just kind of how I'm storing them because sometimes I'll just put a spoonful of them in my food. But if you, you can research online what's the ratio you want to do, I guess is what I'm saying. Why well, I'm not giving you like a specific recipe. But if you could do like the whole can of pumpkin with like two cups of almond milk and some chia seeds, put it in, just stir it together, put it in your fridge, let it sit there for a few hours. That can be like a several serving snack, basically like your dessert for like a few nights. And basically like the silk almond milk has barely any calories, like I said. The chia seeds are super nutritious, one of the most like nutritious foods on the planet for in terms of like fiber, protein, um, it's like really like one of those complete foods and the pumpkin has a ton of vitamin A which I have a video on what to eat for beautiful skin and I don't think I included pumpkin in that video because I wasn't really eating a lot of pumpkin at the time but I'm like super into it right now. Um, the pumpkin also has a ton of fiber so again with that and some protein. So these are the kind of snacks that I really go for when I'm trying to get something nutritious but this is also like super sweet so it just it tastes like a dessert. So. You may want to research online trying a little like pumpkin and chia pudding. If you don't like chia seeds, you could probably put something else, um, put something else in the pumpkin or forego it altogether. Some people like to put, um, like what I've seen on the recipe, you could put walnuts in it or raisins. Raisins have a lot of sugar and I already eat um, a good amount of fruit in my diet. So I tend to avoid eating fruit as a snack. You know, if you're watching this video and you may be like, where's the peanut butter and banana as her snack? I already eat that every morning in my oatmeal for breakfast, so that's not something that I snack on. But if you don't already eat that for breakfast, peanut butter and banana or peanut butter and apple, almond butter, however you want to do it, are of course some good options. A few more things. So now we're into like the sweet realm. I tried dates for the first time this year, so they're just a sugary fruit. And yeah, you heard this coming. They have a lot of fiber. So six of these, if you're not familiar with dates, six dates have 110 calories. You can buy these in bulk at Whole Foods. I don't feel the need to buy these in bulk because I find these just really satisfying if you just have one or two. Since they do have a lot of sugar, I usually don't eat very many of these. Just having like one or two can be super satisfying. You could throw these in a smoothie if you wanted, all chopped up. Or you could try, if you're someone who's used to eating like more fatty, like sugary desserts, this could be a good way to, to try to eat um, something a little bit more nutritious rather than those snacks that you are used to. 
So give these a try. They're really yummy. I know they kind of look weird. Um, if you haven't tried them, you may they may seem kind of unappetizing, but they're really yummy. Um, so just one or two of those is enough for me. If you want to eat more, absolutely you can. Um, I do have a video on favorite smoothies for weight loss. I'll link that one down below too. And cocoa powder, the unsweetened kind, is what I like to put in my smoothies. It makes everything taste like a chocolate smoothie. Um, so one tablespoon of this has 20 calories. You would never guess that if you had something that had this unsweetened cocoa powder in it, you would think you were having like a chocolate milkshake. But um, I do have a recipe in that video for like a spinach smoothie that I like. And basically just adding a little bit of cocoa powder to your smoothie can really help like satisfy a sweet tooth. And then if you really need to have some chocolate or some sweets, dark chocolate is a better option than milk chocolate. And if you don't want to eat like an entire candy bar, you can just go with some little like mini chips and just have a few of them. Sometimes when you really are craving something, just indulging can be the way to go. So if you just limit your portion of what it is that you want to indulge in, that can be just fine. So um, I would love to hear your ideas of what you guys like to snack on. If you have any questions, let me know. I will link past health and fitness videos. Um, I tried to reference some of them here. If you're new, I know sometimes, you know, I'm getting new subscribers and I don't know if they're going back and watching some of my other videos. Um, totally fine. If you're not, I, I get it. But I do want to reference those other videos in case you're curious. So I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye.